about it, y'all? This is Daniel Nicholson with Nicholson Farms. Uh, today we're back with another video. And if you can see, I got some lumber in the back of the truck. But that's for the, hopefully the next video if I can get that project started and get it completed. But today we're going we're gonna to move the pigs around on some new pasture. I got my Premier One fence I'm going to move. And we got to get them called up first. I, whenever I was pulling in, I think I saw a couple of them out. So it's time to move them. I think some of the dirt's gotten on that wire and it's kind of grounded out. So we got to do a couple things before then. I got to move the horse trailer that the goats are using as a shelter right now. And also I've got some U clamps to fix up our automatic watering system that I posted in the last video. If you haven't checked that out, go ahead and check it out. But it's going to be a busy afternoon and it's going to be fun. So we're going to go ahead and get started and y'all stick with us. So I got the horse trailer moved. I'm going to park it there so the, our two billies have a place to get out the weather. I think my plan is I'm going to take this Premier One fence and put it against the cross fence here in this alleyway. And see if I can't get the pigs caught up in this little barn area uh, while I move the fence. Uh, you can see I put some clamps on the watering system so it shouldn't slide down now and I'm going to run the fence from this post here straight across that pipe will go through the fence and then I'm going to run my fence down and then go back up to the highway and this pigs ought to clean this up pretty good uh, if you can tell over here used to be used to look like that so it's time for them to get some some fresh dirt or fresh grass to munch on. So I'm gonna get these goats out of here. We're gonna move this fence over and we're gonna see what happens. I had to result to the old buckets and some feed. Let's see if this works. Come on, pigs. Come on, pigs.
Come on, pigs. Come on, pigs. Come on, pigs. Come on, pigs. Come on, pigs. Hey, 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 hey. They're testing the boundaries, but they're not so sure yet. I'm gonna set the camera up and we'll see if we can't get them in here. ain't working. Success. So while they're munching away on all these acorns right here, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get the Premier One fence up. I'm glad they like those acorns because there's gonna be a bunch of them right here. So we'll get uh, camera turned around and we'll get this fence cut um, picked up real quick. If you haven't seen my uh, previous video uh, about my Premier One fence, I highly suggest go check it out. But I explain, I open this box and I break out the new fence and I kind of explain the best way to pick it up. And that is to grab one pole, walk to the next one and grab the next pole. So your wire's laid out like this, it's not gonna get all tangled up. And whenever you're stretching it out, you're gonna put one pole, walk till it's tight, put a pole in, walk again till it's tight, put another pole in. It's just the easiest way to do it. So now, since I got it all rolled up, I'm gonna go ahead and stretch it out. And uh, we're gonna see how big of an area these pigs get right here. And then we'll get them over there and we'll start moving some water and their feeders over. Well, the pigs are shaking my camera. It was mounted on the fence, but you can see I got it up. It's not the prettiest thing. Got a little zigzag in there, but I just want to get some tension. And I really don't want to give them any more of this pasture just because that's some good fescue over there. I don't want them to disturb. But I got it tied up, but I forgot I got to move them over there. So I got to get this untied. And we're going to see if they'll shoot through that little gap right there and go into the new pen and we'll get some electricity on it. We can do this without letting them all out in the pasture. Hey, pigs. Hey, come here.
If you haven't seen it before, this is the water system, well, water system that I have to water my pigs. All it is is an IVC tote with a cutoff valve reduced down to a three quarter inch pipe. And I'll plug that into the new automatic water that we made. Like I said, if you haven't seen that video, go check that out. I'll leave a little card uh, at the top of the screen right now. Uh, so feel free to check it out. Show you how I got my fence tied in. It's tied into my hot wire that runs all the way around my perimeter fence. Just got it hooked on there with those Premier One clips. Well, y'all, we got the pigs moved. We got the Premier One net wire moved. If you're looking into doing some pasture raised pigs, I hope this video helped you, and I highly suggest that wire. You can find it at Premier One. And my water trough and my new water system is working. Uh, I didn't move the feed today just because. It's got some feed left in it, it's pretty heavy, so I'll get somebody to come help me uh, later on or tomorrow, and we'll get that moved. But I really appreciate y'all hanging out with us. I'm gonna see if I can't get the tractor going, and we're gonna spread some oats on top of this spot that we just moved the pigs off of, just so it's not a muddy mess all the time. But I really appreciate y'all hanging out with us. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We'd greatly appreciate it. Uh, we're trying to grow this channel. And, it's going to be many more things like this to come. we got some exciting projects coming up. So, like I said, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the notification bell. And we'll see you all on the next one.